Now that we have completed the definition of the mathematical model with an answers, let's get the solver to solve it for us numerically by generating the algebraic equations on the mesh that we gave it and then um, solving those algebraic equations. Go into mechanical and click solve. And it says solving the mathematical model and it's it's done the numerical solution and let me save the project it's hiding quite a bit from us so let's think through you know what happened under the the hood and for that i'll go back to a slide from the uh, the big ideas and free analysis and let me annotate my answers model the first step is to assign the temperature values for the nodes at which uh, we have an essential boundary condition. So we have these nodes, so we have the corner nodes here, and then we also have the, the mid-side nodes. So it'll assign the temperature boundary condition for these nine values. Um, so they will be set, the temperature there will be set to one degree C. And you can see that, you know, that boundary condition, the essential boundary condition will be satisfied exactly. Then it needs to generate the algebraic equations at all the other nodes. So at an internal interior node like that, it'll, you know, the algebraic equation will connect the, the nodes um, connected to all these elements. And then the right hand side it comes from the heat generation, but we haven't turned on heat generation here, so the right-hand side for those algebraic equations will be zero. And if you think about a node um, at, at the insulated boundary over here, now for that node, the right-hand side is going to come from the heat generation, which is zero, and then from the heat flux at the boundary. And in, you know, in the 2D case, this is going to be uh, derivative in the normal direction and again that's zero. So for these nodes again the right hand side is zero. For nodes at the right boundary such as this the um, the heat flux is not zero so you're going to get a non-zero right hand side for those nodes. So we have uh, 121 nodes in total. Nine temperature values will be determined from the essential boundary condition and then there are remaining 112 which are determined by inverting uh, 112 by 112 matrix and that's a sparse matrix because each temperature value is related only to its immediate neighbors. Um, so this temperature value won't be related to you know all of these nodal temperatures. And it's inverted that that matrix, and now we have all 121 uh, temperature values. We'll do the step three later on when we go to check the energy balance. Now that we have all 121 temperature values, let's uh, get answers to do the post-processing for us.